Leanza presents 5 Minutes On, Taking Minutes. What are minutes and why do we need them? Minutes are one of the ways to keep track of what is discussed at meetings and ensure action points are followed through on. The most important details to capture are decisions made, future plans and action points to implement these plans. They stand as the formal record of the meeting and are often used to inform those who weren't present of what went on, especially when they have had tasks assigned to them. Minutes are also often required by banks and organisations to serve as the formal notification that committee members or treasurers have changed. Before the meeting, preparation. Lucky you! you get to take the minutes. Whether you're the secretary or have just been chosen to take the minutes, it is helpful if you are involved in planning the meeting agenda, as this will help with taking minutes. If you can't be involved, make sure you have a copy of the meeting agenda. Use this agenda as a guide when writing your minutes. It will save you time if you have a template already designed with the agenda topics. The order and numbering of items on your minutes should match those on the agenda. Also ensure you have a copy of all documents that are sent out with the agenda or handed out at the meeting. During the meeting. Note time. Ensure you accurately record the names of all the attendees, including guests. You could do this yourself if you know the people personally or hand around an attendance list so they can check themselves off. Once the meeting has started, it is important you document all the important decisions, assignments and action steps. It is impossible to write down the entire conversation, so don't try to keep up. This is where your template of the agenda will come in handy. Your notes can be written by hand or on a laptop. Another tip is to consider recording the meeting on your phone or laptop so you can go back and fill in the things you may have missed. Just be sure to warn attendees that they are being recorded. Things to remember to include in your notes. Date and time. Name of attendees and apologies. Acceptance or corrections to previous meeting minutes. Once the meeting moves on to discussing each agenda item, you must remember to record actions to be taken including the next steps, the person assigned to each action, the voting outcomes. Following voting on a motion, it must be recorded whether the motion was passed or lost and the number of ayes, noes and abstentions. At the end of the meeting, it is important to jot down items to be held over until the next meeting, new business to be discussed at the next meeting, the time and date of the next meeting. After the meeting, get your right on. Once the meeting has finished, you can pull together your notes into the formal minutes. Ensure you have everything you need and that all the decisions actions and motions are noted clearly. Your minutes should be brief and clear. You should write in the same tense throughout, preferably past tense. Avoid using people's names and avoid inflammatory or personal observations. If you need to include other documents, attach them at the end or indicate where they may be found. Ask the chair to review the minutes then distribute them to all attendees and absentees. This can be done in hard copy, via email or online, for example Google Drive or Dropbox. Most organisations have their own system, for example, for Leanza meetings the minutes must be sent to the National Office. Ensure your minutes are filed in an easily accessible location and advise the Chair of where to find them. Congratulations, you are now an official minute taker.